Obama has a lot of momentum, and there's some chance that momentum will build as he wins South Carolina, especially if he can win Nevada and South Carolina. And it might turn out that he doesn't need Edwards or anyone else, that he could just build that momentum into a win in Super Tuesday, and he's the president. Or it is entirely possible that Hillary Clinton, with a big lead in California still, New York's our home state, can really maintain that lead pretty comfortably and easily, and without Obama or Edwards challenging her, can go ahead and cruise the victory on Super Tuesday, although she might get hurt in Nevada, South Carolina, etc. Or maybe she rallies in Nevada, and then she gains momentum, and it makes her Super Tuesday win easier. So, so far you're saying, Cenk, that's not really much clarification or edification. But here's the key difference, in my opinion, and what I think has an excellent chance of being the determinative factor. John Edwards. If John Edwards finishes third in South Carolina, I think he's done. I, I just That means he's not going to win. He's, there isn't going to be any rally. If he doesn't win in Nevada or he doesn't come close in South Carolina, he's not really going to rally anywhere. He's going to continue to come in third and not really make a, a race out of it. Now, he claims still to this day, no, I'm going to beat these quote-unquote celebrity candidates and and I'm for the working man, and he's got a very good case to make, and if you're voting for Edwards, God bless you. It makes all the sense in the world. But if Edwards decides, you know what, I'm not going to win this thing, I'm going to pull out, Almost, most of his supporters, you never know how things go, but it appears that most of his supporters will not go to Hillary Clinton. They will probably go to Barack Obama. They are anti-Hillary voters. If John Edwards said, I'm getting out of the race and my voters, I endorse Hillary Clinton, go to Hillary Clinton, they wouldn't go anywhere. Nor would he ever say that, and he's certainly not been saying that lately. He's been a lot more supportive of Obama than he has been uh, of Hillary Clinton. So if Edwards gets out of the race before Super Tuesday, and that's critical, before Super Tuesday, Barack Obama is very likely to be your next president of the United States of America. If he stays in in Super Tuesday, then Hillary Clinton has the advantage. As I just explained, it could still go either way. Edwards could stay in the race, and Hillary Clinton st could still pull it out with her large leads in California and New York. Uh, and Edwards can get out of the race, and maybe you know Hillary still holds on to that lead, or he stays in the race, and Obama carries his momentum forward and still wins anyway. But the most likely scenario is if Edwards gets out before Super Tuesday, Obama wins. If he stays in Super Tuesday, Clinton wins. That makes John Edwards, your new kingmaker. Who will he select? Will he decide to go out before Super Tuesday or stay in and possibly hand Hillary Clinton the presidency? That's the key question going forward. And let's see. I think the press will probably wake up to it in about a week. So let's see how it develops, Young Turks.